Hey, what's up everyone? We have something very serious that we are trying to share as far and as wide as we can. You probably saw our last video where we found a rat snake just like this one that had gotten trapped in garden netting. Tons of these guys every year are dying in this awful stuff and no one is doing anything about it. I know every YouTuber out there says to like their video, share their video, but if there's one video we're gonna ask you to like and share, it's this one that we're talking about the dangers of garden netting to wildlife like snakes, as well as birds and mammals that also get trapped and die in it. So we took our latest YouTube video and we shared it with as many media contacts as we could to try to get the word out that this netting is dangerous, that it's a death trap for wildlife. Check out the segment we did on Good Day PA showing how terrible this garden netting is. Like it, share it, comment on it. This is a message that we need your help to spread far and wide. Let's go, folks. But plastic netting that's commonly used to keep critters off of our plants can be really dangerous for wildlife. For a creature feature today, we are learning about some alternatives we can use to protect our critters. Jesse Rothaker from Forgotten Friend Reptile Sanctuary is back with us this morning. Jesse, thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks, Amanda. And um, we brought a couple of rat snakes yeah. to show you. The longest snake in Pennsylvania, they can get six or seven feet long or bigger. They're very memorable. That is insane that you can find them here in Pennsylvania. Uh, Wow, okay. Tell me a little bit about the plastic netting and why we would see that used this time of year. So we have a couple blueberry and raspberry bushes in our yard. And as soon as the berries get ripe, it's like the, the news goes out all around the neighborhood. Every bird in the neighborhood shows up sure. and uh, chipmunks start showing up. So critters get in there. And so mm -hmm. when you grow food, it's going to attract critters. And when you have chipmunks going in there, well, guess who eats chipmunks? Mm, snakes. So that the snakes are there. And um, the nettings that we put over our berries uh, or sometimes that we put on the ground to grow grass, these kinds of commercially available plastic nettings. Now, it looks almost harmless. Sure. But do you remember when you were a kid, there was those Chinese finger traps that you put your finger in either yeah. end and they get stuck. And the harder you pull, the more they get stuck. Is that this? Let's look what happens with this netting. Now, right away, you can let go of it and show everyone what happened. Right away, this Aww. snake is trapped in the netting. Now, don't worry. I brought, him, I brought along the right scissors to get him out of there. But look at how quickly that happened. Yeah. Every year we get calls Ugh. for lots of these. And what happens when they get trapped in there, they can't get out and then it gets hotter and they literally cook in the sun. The owners of the home in that video mm -hmm. said they had two birds that also got trapped in that same netting. Oh. And those, those were really great caring homeowners. Yeah. They wanted to do what was best for the critters. They wanted to protect their garden. They had a beautiful vegetable garden but they didn't know about didn't the alternative. Right, so somebody at home might be watching and thinking that too. What's a better option? So look at this fine mesh that we have there yeah. and we'll try it on this poor snake here. See how he cannot can't go through get it? Through, no. So look for a finer mesh like that uh, mm -hmm. that they can't get through. And just so no one's worried if they're watching at home and they're thinking, are we going to let this snake get hurt? Yeah, please. No, we, we brought along these surgical scissors. That's what we use to get this out. Yeah. And with just a couple snips, we'll get him out. But the problem is, if you don't know, look at that, a couple snips and he's rescued. Right. Okay, no snakes are harmed right. in the making Great. of good day PA. We're going to get rid of that. In fact, we're going to burn it so it can't ever trap an animal again. When these guys get trapped, they have no one there to help them. Sure. So if you have this kind of netting that's dangerous to wildlife, it could be birds, snakes, mammals getting trapped in there, make sure you check it every single day mm -hmm. to make sure you don't have critters trapped. Uh, or better yet, just get rid of it, throw it away, mm -hmm. look up the Swap alternative with products this. that are yep. yeah, safer for wildlife. Great information as always. And if somebody wants to get more information from you, how can they reach out? Oh, visit ForgottenFriend.org or Forgotten Friend Reptile TV on YouTube and you can watch the rescue calls. Uh, we've had multiple rescue calls with milk snakes and rat snakes mm -hmm. and other critters trapped in different types of meshes. So just check out our YouTube, Forgotten Friend Reptile TV. All right, thank you, Jesse. We'll be right back.